Hello and welcome to another Lawn Clippings video. Today um, we're going to be featuring our set Say Cheese and Say Cheese 2. We have all this amazing stuff going on at the blog. This is uh, March 12th through March 17th, 2011. Lawnfawn.blogspot.com. We have amazing samples. We have all of these giveaways. You, you just have to check it out. But today uh, I'm going to show you some fun things about our sets um, Say Cheese and Say Cheese 2. Um, uh, also uh, people like to call it the Polaroid set because it has the Polaroid image. So here is Say Cheese and Say Cheese 2. Of course you guys know sometimes mine don't have the little labels on them because I get the prototypes. So um, this one of course if you, if you bought it would have the labels on it. But the really fun thing about these two sets is that they work together. So in this Polaroid space these words fit inside. But uh, first I want to show you some fun things about the Polaroid. You're going to see the Polaroid that I have here. This is a very well-loved stamp. This stamp was used all throughout CHA, so hundreds of people used it. Um, and I just wanted to show you hundreds of people using a stamp. It may be stained, it may look a little, you know, you know, a little whatever because people were using different kinds of inks on it. It still works, which is so cool. Um, it just shows you you can use it a million times and it's still going to work. So I'm just going to pick up the stamp. And um, and show you how this stamps. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a little bit of paper piecing. This is um, from Basic Gray. It's Sweet Threads. It's called Boutique Shopping. And I thought this was such a pretty pattern. So I wanted to show you how I went about uh, paper piecing the Polaroid. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab... Where's my ink? There it is. Okay, I'm going to grab some Jenny Bolin ink. This is my new favorite. I love it so much. Um, this uh, color is brown sugar. It's a brown color. With the Polaroid, because it is a large stamp, a lot of people like to take the ink straight to the stamp, like this, or you can take your stamp to the ink pad. Whatever works best for you. I actually tend to do both, because you know, you guys, I've told you I'm a paranoid stamper, so I want to make sure there's ink on there. A lot of times ink will get in the center portion, um, but don't worry, it won't come out on your image. And uh, we have that center portion, you know, we just wanted to make sure that the stamp is a really sturdy stamp. So um, we have that base part, you know, the part that sticks to the block on there. So um, you'll see right here when I lift up, that it's perfect image. And then what I do is I just take um, a baby wipe, you can use your stamp cleaner or however you clean your stamps, and I just clean it off just like that, and it's perfect to go. So, um, you see that lovely Jenny Bolin ink? It just works really, really well with our stamps. I really like it. And I'm gonna show you real fast. Um, I'm gonna cut this out, and we'll fast forward this part. Okay, so we have our cutout. Um, Polaroid. Now the inside part, the photo is two and a half by two and a half, so two and a half inch square. So that's what's really great about that is that you could use your nested abilities to cut out your square photo um, or, or paper. You could use um, a two and a half inch square punch. You could use your paper trimmer. Um, so you always know that you can actually measure your photos out uh, perfectly um, from your computer and print them out two and a half inch size to fit. Um, a lot of people like to put the photo right on top which is awesome. I happen to like to put uh, to put it underneath. So I like the frame and then the photo under. That could also be really fun on a card where the photo was on the inside of the card and the Polaroid was on the outside and you kind of could open the card and see the photo inside. So I'm just going to show you. I learned this trick from um, Miss Tiffany Johnson when we were at CHA. Um, I take my scissors. Watch out. Be careful. You know me. I cut my Myself, so I always have to tell myself that. And I take it and I just make, I'm on a score, you know, where it's uh, cutting safe. And I just go like this. I make an X through. And now it's going to be really easy to cut out. So you're going to see I can just start cutting and cutting out the center part. Just like this. Okay, so you can see that's all cut out. Um, you can even save this little piece um, to maybe paper, pattern, uh, paper piece something a little with this pattern or cut out a pattern. Let me put that to the side. Um, the other thing that I like to do is I like to take a marker. Um, you can use a Copic or right here I'm just going to use one of these American Craft stamp markers. And I like to go across the sides. Um, you guys have seen me do this before. It's to kind of finish off the cutting. I never quite cut perfectly, and especially these, like this paper has a white core in it, so when you cut it, it kind of shows through. So I just take a marker. I mean, you could use a Crayola marker, any marker. And then I'll also line the inside just like that, so that it looks, um, you know, 
Now that's all lined and ready to go. And now there's so many different things you can do with this. You can make cards, you can make layouts, um, and you definitely have to pop on over to the blog to get a bunch of um, ideas, which we have today. And we're also going to have on um, the 16th, we're going to have another day of this and another video too. So I wanted to show you a few ways that, um, that I've done this. Um, Right here you can see where I've done with photos behind some pattern paper and you can see on the back um, I actually just cut it with scissors to fit. Um, I didn't even try to do it perfectly or anything because no one's going to see the back of it. And, um, and you can see how cute those turned out. So I did some photos of me and my husband so I can do a layout with them. Um, and these are those, you know, when you stick your arm out and you take the photo, those are perfect for these, these Polaroids. Um, so there's that. And then here's another card I made that you might have seen on the Right Click Scrapbook blog. Um, but what I did on this card is um, I actually, this is actually pattern paper right here that, that we paper piece just like this one. And then behind, I also put a piece of pattern paper that I cut out just like I did those photos, and I stamped a sentiment. And then this is from just my type, the polar, uh, the push pin. And um, you can see what a cute card that is too. Um, the other really fun thing that you can do is create scenes, say with critters, or put any other image in here um, that you would like, either a beautiful pattern paper, or um, or a stamp, or a critter, or a sentiment, anything you could think of, and you're gonna see some fun samples. So you can do photo cards, you can do layers, out mini albums um, there's just so many possibilities with this Polaroid and it I just think it's so much fun um, so uh, one thing one last thing I wanted to show you is I just wanted to show you how I put the photo behind it and then um, in a few days we're gonna go over say cheese 2 and kind of how that works with everything so what I did was um, I actually and we'll probably do a day two where I show you how I print these out. I actually printed these out at two and three quarters by two and three quarters because that way I knew I would have enough to actually go behind the photo since I like to to put it in front of here so what I'm gonna do is just take some scissors and I'm literally like all I'm doing is just cutting around the photo just like this and I'm just doing it messy no problem this you can do you can cut up your photos without even using a punch or anything and line it up this way and so then what I like to do is just take some adhesive and run it along the actual One other thing I want to show you is how to get the Polaroid look. Um, what I did was I just stamped um, in some black ink on white cardstock, just plain old white cardstock. And right now I'm going to take some antique linen distress ink and one of these foam ink blending tools and I'm going to bring that antique linen color on. And I'm actually in kind of you know, with these, you know, you definitely want to blend, but I actually like kind of the pattern of the foam coming through just a little bit. My foam pieces are falling off. Um, I think I need a new foam on this one. Uh, but this one, um, you know, I like the, the kind of the texture coming through because I feel like it makes it look a little more Polaroid-y. You know, that kind of like when they've kind of yellowed a bit because they've been in those, remember those plastic you know, the plastic cover sticky albums that, that ended up ruining everybody's pictures, but now look kind of cool because everybody likes that retro look. Um, so that's kind of the look that I'm trying to get here with the Polaroid. So you can kind of see, um, you know, you kind of want it a little uneven because that's kind of the look you want when it comes to a Polaroid like this. So, um, so you can see that there, which looks really cool. And uh, I'm just gonna cover up my ink before I start getting ink on myself. And then what I did was I took a photo. So instead of uh, putting, putting the photo behind, like I showed here, where I just kind of glued it to the back um, of a cutout photo, this time what I did was I just took a two and a half inch square nestability, but you could use a punch too. I actually really want to get a punch because it makes it that much easier. You can just do it really fast. And you're gonna adhere this over here. You could even do it with foam dots, which would be really cute, but I'm just gonna use some adhesive. Okay, so I'm going to take this photo and just line it up with the square that's already there on the Polaroid. And then you can see 
what a great look that is. And so both looks look so cool, the photo on top and the photo behind. It's just like two different ways of, of doing it um, and, uh, and just really fun. And you could have also just cut the two and a half by two and a half inch square um, from a four by six photo uh, with, with your paper trimmer. I mean, you don't have to size down the photos. I happen to have done it this time. I'll do one where I cut one out of a four by six photo next time, you know, the standard size photo. But uh, yeah, it just looks so much fun. And um, I just wanted to show you really fast um, just with uh, with a cute uh, sentiment from this set. This set also has this um, awesome like retro Polaroid camera, which is so fun um, to to color and use and use for really cute cards that say say cheese or your picture perfect things like that. Um, and we have a little smiley face, the little flash bulbs coming off um, that says say cheese and picture perfect and I heart you. So I'm going to use the I heart you. I'm just going to take a little block. You know, I like to put my sentiment down and then pick it up with the block. And um, I think I'm going to use, let's see, for this one, I'm just going to use some black ink, just something really simple. And the cool thing is, is this could be really cute for like a card, uh, a photo card, like your Christmas cards could be amazing with this. Um, then also mini books, scrapbook layouts. Um, other photo cards, like especially sending to grandma, things like that would be perfect um, with this. And, uh, and then using the idea of the sentiment or the image or the scene with the critters, um, there's so many other things you can do with that, which I'm going to show you um, next time since we're going to have, we're going to do, um, you know, on Wednesday, uh, we're going to be doing another Say Cheese, Say Cheese 2 day, and I'll show you a little bit more about Say Cheese 2 then, and we'll do something with some fun images, um, with just stamping and card making with the, with the Polaroid image. So I just really like that it has two uses, scrapbooking and card making and mini albums and, and anything else you can think of. Hey, if it's a card that you can send to make grandma happy, then that's always a good thing. So, um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you head on over to the blog, March 12th through March 17th, 2011, lawnfawn.blogspot.com. Lots of inspiration, lots of giveaways because it's our first birthday, so we have to celebrate, and I love giving stuff away. So, um, you know, just really fun stuff that we've got going on. You can see all of our different samples here, uh, and, um, and of course the card too. And I can't wait to see you guys tomorrow for our next um, day and we're going to show another stamp set and more samples and more giveaways and everything. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day and um, I look forward to seeing you over at the blog. Bye!